Excellent. I'm married. 90. 108. You've got your super challenge questions as well. Excellent. Positive behaviour. Write it down. The perimeter on the outside. Thank you. In every primary school in the country, some children seem to struggle to keep up. We all worry about the ability of these children to access the learning they're being offered. At Hunslet Moor Primary School in Leeds, Deputy Head Teacher Hannah Darley has developed a key skills intervention strategy which uses three short focus sessions every week to fill those gaps. First of all, what I want you to do is put your maths hat on. So can you take your maths hat out of your box, put it on? At Hunslet Moor we have children coming from a number of different backgrounds. We have at least 17 different languages spoken at the school and for us the changing context really is we have children who are joining us on a more frequent basis and also leaving us so our mobility has become more of an issue. Okay, give me one maths operation. Go on Alicia. Subtraction. Brilliant. Division. Well done. For us, one of our responses to the change in mobility has been the key skill sessions. We try and um, target whole school weaknesses through key skill sessions, and so they link to our literacy and numeracy layered targets. It's allowed us to meet the needs and the range of ability within a class. So working as a team with your partner, let's see if you can group these words into the different operations. Ready? Set, go. So with the key skill sessions, we ask teachers to deliver three key skill sessions a week as a minimum. Because it's only 20 minutes, it flies by and it's got to be really precise teaching. I found the best way to deliver a session is to start with a really short, snappy, mental or oral starter, which gets the children engaged. And what's your bug going to say? Take away. Take away the cake. Well done. And what's the other one which we haven't got down yet? Well done. Write that one down. The nature of this session was actually looking at key aspects of subtraction that they covered this year and getting them to apply it because the biggest thing for those children was, that, was actually developing their confidence to use that strategy and apply it in contexts that may be unfamiliar to them. Right, strategy check now. We need to check we're using the method that is part of your numeracy target, OK? I've got 150, take away 75. Now, thinking only about the partitioning method, what's the first thing I'm going to do? Well done, Andrew. I'm going to rewrite that number, um, 150, then we're going to separate 75. Well done. What's the grown-up word we use instead of separate? Partition. Well done, partition. The third part of that session, then, is really application. So it's giving them some context to actually use what you've taught them. Can you read that problem to me, please? A bag of apples cost £1.24. Josh has 97p. How much more money does he need? Excellent. Okay. I think key skills really have been significant in terms of the accelerated progress we've made with certain groups of children this year. The biggest impact we've seen is where teachers have used the key skill sessions to teach a process rather than just maybe how to do one thing. It's had a big impact because it's allowed children then to apply it across a number of different contexts. At Hunslet Moor, key skills are also used with entire classes. Year 4 class teacher, Rachel Kinraid, is taking a literacy key skills session on punctuation. You all need to put on your key skills punctuation thinking caps for me. It's just the math, they shouldn't be that dusty. Okay. We have key skill sessions integrated into our timetable three times a week and they concentrate on the specific barriers children face to learning, so they're a combination of literacy and numeracy. Tell me one of the sentences you were able to create. Charity. Suddenly the loud noise echoed through the cobbled street. Well done. Was that really easy? Or was something making it really tricky for us to make those sentences? Well, there was no punctuation, so it was tricky. What the children study in their key skill session really depends on the nature of what you're learning, whether they can bring it in and apply it straight away into their literacy or their numeracy sessions. For literacy, for example, today in punctuation, it really refreshes the children's expectations of punctuation. It really hammers home to them how they need to be using it to make their sentences make sense. So this would be green, OK? Amber would mean, I'm nearly there, I just need a little bit more practice. And you think, oh, this wasn't a good lesson, I need some help. Can you show me? Excellent. Well done, thank you.